Okay, some time back I promised people a video of the new universal remote control that I have. I received this for Christmas a couple of months ago and I thought I'd let you know what it does and how it looks. Uh, here's the box. Very nice packaging on the box. Uh, something on every side for you to look at. And inside the box we have the standard issue phaser case. Very nice. And uh, you'll notice by the holes here, it can be stacked up if you have multiple of these, which would be great if you're shooting a movie or something. Inside the case, we have a well set components. We have the standard issue number one phaser. Very nicely detailed. It has uh, everything just like the original. What was nice about this is this whole phaser was scanned from the original hero prop. The last remaining one, it was laser scanned 3D. This has all the working features including the raised sight. Uh, hold down the power switch. And it will cycle through several different options. You can practice uh, running the remote control, getting the gestures down correctly. And then the control mode. It has four different memory banks. Each one and since there are nine different gestures you can program into each memory bank you have a total of 36 different options that you can you can use. In the FX mode We have the overload. Now this has 10 different effects that can be programmed into it. And the way you program it is you put it into the Phaser 2 body. The Phaser 2 body, also very detailed, it's put together just like the original was, except these are not popsicle sticks like the original had. And nicely, they even put in this handy dandy screwdriver to put the thing together. So it's just a screw on the bottom, put the battery pack in. By the way, this is chargeable through a USB port to your computer or any other thing that will charge through USB. It has a long life battery. This thing has been sitting for almost two months in this box because I've been uh, afraid that the cat or something is going to knock it over and this is such an excellent piece. So well detailed. Uh, I don't really want anything to happen to it but I guess what I need to do is put it on the shelf when I'm not using it. So now we have the standard phaser. All the sorts, all sorts of details on this. Trigger on the front. Um, the the knob on the back, the control knob sets which sound effect you're going to be using. All from the ship or the phasers. There's our blue one. And if you just want to stun. Um, releasable, just like the original, through this pin on the side. Just pops out, pops right back in. What I really liked about this is, look closely here, you can extend the phaser nozzle. This thing has every detail you can think of. Here, we'll open this up, and now you get a look at the uh, dilithium crystal that's inside, which I thought was a very cool touch. They didn't have to do that. So that was the various phaser sounds, but if you set this on zero, you can also produce ten different ship sounds. 
you just marry it with a gesture. Pull the trigger, put it in a different direction, like to the left, pull it, push it, even rotate it. So pretty much everything you can think of. It has volume control for the sound effects. You can make the sound effects silent so that when you're actually doing the gestures, you're not bothering the other people in the room with the constant phaser sound. Um, in the program mode, you can practice. Sorry, in the, in the um, practice mode, it will tell you what the gesture is, what it recognizes. So it takes some practice. And then you switch to control mode and decide uh, what you want to do. So this will control anything that is infrared. It will not control RFID, so it won't control my PS3, but it does control my audio receiver. It controls my um, iPod music dock. It controls my cable box. So with 36 different options to be programmed into here, it will do just about anything I want. And once you release it, and you're back to the single phaser one, it remembers the last sound that was programmed into it. One thing I didn't show you was right on the end. Look through the end there. This thing's got everything. And you may be able to hear it, but it also vibrates when you shoot. It's got force feedback. What more could you ask for? Well, I handed this to somebody and said, here. And they swore it was going to fall over. They jumped for it. They reached for it. But it has a magnetic base. Just set it down and you're ready to go. Walk away. This is very cool. It was just over $100 when we got it. But it's the best thing for me, anyway, it is so accurate, so detailed. Hope you enjoyed it.